Have you ever wondered what people think about your favorite games? Well today, we're going to figure out exactly what's on people's minds by reading some reviews left under the Xbox store. First up, we got Roblox. The reviews seem to be pretty decent actually. We got a 3.8 overall, 58% are 5 stars, but we got a lot of 1 stars, so let's, let's see what that's all about. 1 star. Bruh. I got raped by an 89 year old. You know, 27 out of 29 people found this helpful, so I think that's pretty good. Five stars, Ben Shapiro. Yeah, I'd say that's, that describes the game perfectly. I am absolutely in love with this game. This game gave me terminal AIDS. <laughs> I love it because it's the only thing that distracts me from life because Karen took kids in the Thanos car. She left me for Big Chunk. <laughs> oh, I need a minute. She, <laughs> she left me for Big Chungus, so when I went over to her house with my gun, I tried to hit, but I missed her because she already picked Tracer. <laughs> but I was also a level 100 Mafia boss, so I won. I recommended this game to everyone. Well, time to take a bath with the coffee bee machine. Also, a nine-year-old told me to go commit die, so I did, Gary. That's right, Gary. You're stuck with my ungrateful kids and Karen. I'll see you in hell. Hell Satan. I'd say that perfectly sums up the game as well. I mean, these reviews are phenomenal, written by really reliable sources. I'd say that Roblox is really, you know, this is where you want to go if you want to see how your games are. One star. Too many pedophiles. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't really doubt that. It's honestly, it's Roblox. But it's probably on Fortnite, though. Let's see what Fortnite has to offer. Holy crap. There's a lot of one-star ratings. I am uh, a little scared. Balls deep in sheer one. I spreaded this game's cheeks like butter. That's how bad it was like moldy cheese getting slapped by my uncle. It felt booty. I'm not even sure what that means, but... <laughs> okay. One star, not for kids. Violent and gory, this video game shows the horrors of war, amputees, blood, death, with very realistic graphics and physics. My kids were terrified. They had to see a foreign family get burned to death. This advertises a kid-friendly game, but I don't even think an adult should play this game. One star. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty, I got PTSD from playing Fortnite. I'm not even gonna lie there. Yeah, let's see what people are saying about uh, Black Ops 4, because that game's been going through a lot of shit recently. It's only got two stars, which I think that's a bit much, considering how shit the game kind of is. I don't even own it anymore. Holy fuck. 63% are one stars. This is going to be great. Two stars. Smooth. Picture someone wrapping some dog shit in a Snickers wrapper, then selling it to you. It looks like a Snickers. Feels like a Snickers, but it doesn't taste like a Snickers. That's the best way to describe this game. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's marketed as a Call of Duty game. It plays like a Call of Duty game. It feels like a Call of Duty game. But there's so much shit in it. Yeah, I'd agree. You know, honestly, this review is helpful. Two stars. Playing a pink bunny has never been this much fun. Crying till I'm laughing emoji. Put on your bright pink panties and prepare to get sweaty, unlocking hundreds of duplicate stickers and tags that you will never use. Black Market Trader will troll you with voice lines as you keep getting nothing but disappointing content. Give that bumper jumper control setup a reason to be used and purchase that pink bunny outfit. Bunny hop your way over to the victory while using a unicorn gun. Most realistic shooter ever. Open up your wallets and throw away your cash today. Activision demands it. Unicorn emoji. You know, I wish like... I honestly wish reviews like this were satire, but this one's, like, actually true. Like, the, the GKS has a unicorn skin. I unlocked it. And I don't know if there's a pink bunny outfit, but I wouldn't doubt that there would be. I mean, this game is just filled with fucking duplicates and stickers, and... Uh, it's, it's sad. It really is. Let's see what people are saying about Uno. Such a simple card game, you know. What's, what's there not to like about Uno? What do you have to say about it? Five stars, read this. AI beats kids harder than Casey Anthony. <laughs> Holy shit. Would recommend Rip Macmilla. I don't know who Macmilla is. I know who Mac Miller is. Um, is someone want to explain to me who Mac Miller is? Is that like his alter ego or something? Should we make fun of him because he's dead? Is that disrespectful? Probably is. I like his music. Don't get me wrong. 
jokes. Four stars, where is the Battle Royale? I demand Battle Royale with more microtransactions. I thought this was better than Fortnite. Fortnite? Is that a new game? I should probably try Fortnite. Or am I just going to keep making jokes about people that don't know how to spell completely? Because it seems like I'm probably running that joke into the ground. But honestly, like, real shit, Uno Battle Royale, like, 99 people playing Uno. I'd fucking play that. I'm not even joking. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video of me reading some reviews on the Microsoft Store. Some of them were actually serious, but honestly, the ones that were just kind of jokes were extremely funny. I don't think you should ever really trust the reviews on these sites, especially if you're seeing so many of them are that are jokes, but, uh... Honestly, it's it's a good read once in a while. If you wanna if you wanna laugh, look up some fucking reviews. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheerio.